Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thank you, Representative Figures, for yielding. I rise today in support of H.R. 3962, the Enhancing Science, Treatment, and Upkeep of America's Resilient and Important Estuarian Systems Act, or the Estuaries Act. Estuaries rank among the most productive ecosystems in the country, where freshwater meets saltwater, and entire communities benefit from that key meeting point. Families depend on estuaries for clean water. Fishers depend on them for healthy stocks. Small businesses depend on them for tourism, recreation, and the natural beauty that draws people to our coasts. When estuaries thrive, local communities thrive. The National Estuary Program makes that possible. For more than three decades, NEP partnerships have restored wetlands, improved water quality, reduced toxic pollutants, strengthened fish habitat, and built natural buffers that protect homes and businesses from flooding and storm surge. These partnerships unite scientists, local governments, tribal nations, fishers and anglers, farmers, and community leaders around a shared plan, and those plans deliver results. In Tillamook Bay in Oregon, and the district I'm honored to represent, the NEP helped restore hundreds of acres of tidal wetland, which improved salmon runs, protected dairy farms from flooding, and created new recreational corridors. On the Gulf Coast, NEP projects rebuilt marshes that shield frontline communities from hurricanes. And in New England, estuary programs helped revive shellfish beds that sustain entire working waterfronts. This bill continues the NEP's successful legacy. The Estuaries Act reauthorizes competitive grants through 2021, excuse me, 2031, so every estuary of national significance can implement science-driven conservation, respond to emerging threats, and support long-term economic resilience. This bill upholds a simple principle. When we give local experts the tools they need, they protect the ecosystems that protect us. This legislation reflects a strong bipartisan, bicameral commitment to support these critical ecosystems and recognize their significance. I thank Representative Figures for leading this effort. Thank you as well to Representative Johnson for his support. And also thank my fellow co-chairs of the Bipartisan Estuary Caucus for their partnership Representatives Herodopoulos, Mass, and Ranking Member Larson. Together, we can continue decades of success in estuary restoration and resilience. I encourage all of my colleagues to support the Estuaries Act, and I yield back the balance of my time.